Hello everyone, General Scar here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a door with last player message uh, variable thing. Uh, it doesn't have to be limited to just doors, you can do this with basically anything. I'm just going to show you the how to use it for a door. Uh, so, here we're going to be pressing this button, brick here, and it'll open this door here. But, I have to say the password, and the password is just open and when we click on the button now the door opens because I have said open in the chat window if I say anything else uh, it won't open so let me show you how to build this uh, let me get some bricks here just uh, oops okay so I'll just be clicking on the door for this one Save myself a named brick, I guess. So, basically, last player message is when you say something in the... Is that your last word... Last sentence or word... Last... <laughs> sorry, uh, the last thing you've said in the chat window. So, we're going to have... We're going to go to unactivate self. This is with uh, VCE, by the way, variable, co variable condition events. The link to that will be in the description. And we're going to be... You can do this uh, with RetroTrek 2, right here. If last player message equals... And then type in the last the player message there. But I will be showing you how to do it with... Uh, if value... This is a value, not a variable. So make sure you remember that. Var cl for client and then last message equals now if you can't remember any of all of these here these variables just click here the vce client and it'll go to values and it'll bring up all the different kinds of values that you can use these aren't all of them there are still a lot of variables and values that are available to be used but these are most of them and all be helpful so we're going to have it set to open again and on variable true self disappear for five seconds so we click on it while well, we haven't said open nothing happens but if we type open it'll open now another inter uh, another thing you can do with this is teleporting if you have uh, oh, what's the event called set player transform event you can do teleporting by having relays. Unactivate self fire relay. I'm just going to create a relay loop here really quick. Self fire relay. Okay, now. On relay self BCE if value var CL uh, last message equals teleport on variable true self set player transform and yes send so if you click on this and then we type teleport it will teleport to this brick but we can't walk off it until we say something else uh, if you don't want that to happen you can do on variable true self cancel events here uh, where is it oh there it is cancel events and that will cancel all the events so the relay loop will stop and you can teleport off of it until you say something else click on it and then say teleport again or just click on it again so that is basically last player message events for blockland with variable condition events you can do a lot more things than this but these are just some of the basics that you can do